Hello, hello YouTube, I'll teach you how to make yerba mate tea in gourd. First you need a gourd, you could use a cup, but it's like traditional to use this. A bombija, I think it's called, it's like a straw with a filter on the end to stop tea leaves going into your mouth. Tea leaves, obviously, this is yerba mate tea, it's the original, original flavour, which is just original. I'm running low, so I need to buy some more. If you're wondering where you can buy this from, I bought this as like a starter set for like eleven pound off eBay. So just type in the other Marte here on eBay, and you'll find it. You need some hot water. That's quite hot. So first of all, you need to em have it just empty, and then you're gonna fill it about quite high full of these. It's quite strong. The taste is strong, but it's nice and strong. So you want to fill it up. About three quarters, well, I don't know, halfway maybe. It depends how much you like, really, doesn't it? It's really awkward in this jar, but so let's put it. You need like a fair bit, and it's quite dusty, but I'll show you how to stop that. That's about, about halfway. No, it's not a bit more. So once you've done that, you need to shuffle it to the side, well you don't need to do that, but put your hand on the top, shake it, and all the dust will come onto your hand there, so do that a bit, to get all like, the fine tea off, tea off, and then what you want to do is shuffle it to the side, so it's going to be like a little mountain kind of thing at the side, right? So once you've done that, you get your straw and you'll bury it right in the bottom of the mountain kind of thing. So it's like surrounded in the tea room. So it should like stay like that. And then you want to fill it from the side where the mountain isn't. So it's going to go like, the mountain's going to rise up. You want to fill it quite high. You don't want boiling, you just want warm, warm water. Well, quite hot, and that'll bring it to the top. And I usually get like another spoon of tea tea to put it on top so it's a bit more strong. I'm running out, I think this is the last one I can have. But once you've like done it, you can like re just add, re add hot water to it, and it'll like last for ages. And that's how you do it. And as you can see, that's looking perfect right now. You want to keep this, don't move the straw, otherwise you're going to lose all the tea. We use to keep it in the corner. Hot. That is good. That's a good. That's a good brewing. Thank you for watching. That's how you make yerba mate tea. Please tune in some other time.